What's going on you guys? Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. Today is Sunday. It is day five, day five of the daily vlog on a little family walk right now. Mose, come on. That's enough sniffing. Let's, let's move it. And uh, I have no idea what we're going to do today. I sold 16 things yesterday, so I should probably get some of that uh, pulled, packed, and ready to ship out tomorrow. But I, I might not do it. I don't really like working on Sundays so much. So uh, today is going to be mystery vlog. Day five, mystery vlog. Here we go. All right, so we just got back from the walk. I, we're trying to do like two walks a day just to get out of the house and get some exercise and stuff. But like I said, we sold 16 things yesterday. Uh, just to show you guys my sales. Like this is like, let's see, this day is March 6th. So this is like the start of, you know, everything we got going on now. Sales were just pretty low. One day was only 35, another day was 42. But you see it started to pick up a little bit here. And then this is my best sales day ever, which was last Wednesday, I think something, maybe two Wednesdays ago. Uh, and ever since then, it's been really, really good. This was last weekend. And this weekend, Friday, we were at 213. Saturday was 306. And Sunday, we're up to 285 so far. So um, sales for me are very, very good right now. I am incredibly thankful, incredibly blessed. A bunch of you guys are buying stuff from the store to support me. So I greatly appreciate that. Uh, I'm probably not going to show the 16 things that sold in this video. I'll probably leave it out to have just a big like a weekend what's sold tomorrow. But sales are very good right now for me personally. So drop a comment on this video and let me know if sales are good for you. And if so, what things are selling best. Also did a little porch pickup on Facebook Marketplace today. This is a 1080p Pro Stream Logitech webcam. I found this on Facebook Marketplace uh, last night. I was perusing it like, I don't know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock and it was listed for $60. They said it was um, new open box. They had never used it before. So I went and did a porch pickup today, electronic payment through PayPal. And it's looking like sold comps on this model. Um, I don't know, the model's on this thing. 10A Pro Stream webcam. I'll put some sold comps on the screen here, but it's looking like this thing is selling for between 130 and 150 bucks pretty regularly. So I'm probably gonna price a little bit lower than some other sellers. I don't wanna you know gouge too much. So I'll probably throw this up for maybe 139.99 or something like that plus shipping and it should sell pretty much instantly. So we're supposed to be supporting small local businesses whenever possible. And my good friend, Melissa has a small kind of like at home bakery business. She'll make stuff at home and then take it to farmers markets and things like that to sell. And of course, right now she can't do that. So I went and supported her the other day and ordered some cupcakes and look at how beautiful these cupcakes are. I've already, Haley and I already had two of them, but um. These, they're chocolate cupcakes with buttercream frosting, and they're just beautiful, and they're also quite delicious. So shout out to Melissa at the Honey Bee Bakery. That's what it looks like right there. And I'm going to link her Instagram page in the description of this video. I don't think she's taking orders from the general public right now. She's just kind of doing like friends and family only just to be as cautious as possible. But if you guys want to support her by following her on Instagram, I'd greatly appreciate it. So I also sold something on Facebook Marketplace today. I'll put a screenshot here. This is a, a little bench vice. I think I got this at Goodwill five or six months ago. It's been a while. I actually bought it. I think I paid like $14 for it. I was going to buy it to use personally, uh, but I never got around to it. So I threw it up on Facebook Marketplace for 30 bucks. And I had a couple people say they were interested and said that they were on the way to get it, but they never showed up. So they, one of the guys finally showed up today and he paid me $30 for it. Um, so yeah, definitely a, a good sale there. Facebook Marketplace is the way to go right now, guys. It's safe. It's There's a ton of people on it, both buying and selling. So I would really, if eBay sales are not up to par for you, I would really consider cross-posting your items to Facebook Marketplace and do those porch pickups. Also, somebody said in my video the other day where I picked up that Xbox One that the Kinect was worth a good bit of money, and I'm never going to play it, so I was just going to sell it, and I looked up sold comps, and I was actually super surprised. I'll throw them up on the screen here, but I mean, just the Kinect by itself, I think it's selling for like 70 bucks or so. So if I can sell the Kinect and that that controller and the other blue controller, I should be able to make a profit and basically get a free Xbox One out of it. So uh, I, that's, I, I kind of knew in the back of my mind that these connects were worth something, but I didn't know they were worth that much. And I don't know if it's like a, only because of the situation we're in that they're worth that much or they're just worth that much all the time. I want to say they don't make them anymore, I think. 
Uh, but either way, they're worth a lot. So if you've got a Kinect sitting around that you don't use anymore, I'd probably get it listed. And then we have the dumbbells. So I originally listed the dumbbells for like $2,400 plus shipping, which was like $100 less than the sold comps of $2,500. Uh, but the sold comps for $2,500 were for brand new. Um, so my stand is new, but my dumbbells are not. They just come with the original boxes. So listed at $2,400, turned on best offer. Didn't get anything. And I just realized that, you know, I was talking to College Picker about this, and this is really just a... a, a a supply bubble right now like the demand is high the supply is low but it's not gonna last forever so you basically have to make the choice like do you want to sit on them and maybe hope they go up in value if we're stuck in quarantine for another two months or something or do you make the quick flip take some money and and get out of there um, I was thinking about that I dropped the price down to two thousand dollars plus shipping still with best offer on and I got an offer last night for a thousand dollars plus shipping so I'm like I was talking to Haley I was like Okay, so I paid 600 after fees. I'd only make like 300 bucks, but I would get them sold and get out of here. So, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to make the right moves with this with this flip here. I want to make the most money as, as possible, of course. Um, but I also don't want to end up with, you know, not selling the weights at all until we get out of the situation. And then they go back down to just being worth, you know, basically what I paid. Um, so I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you guys would do in my situation. Would you drop the price to get them sold faster, take a quick four or $500 profit and move on? Or would you hold out and maybe, you know, I don't know. It seems to a lot of people are looking for them on Facebook. I'm seeing ads of people like, Hey, I'll buy your adjustable dumbbells. Um, so I don't know. I don't want the market to get too saturated. I don't want to, I don't want to be stuck with them. Uh, so I don't know. Should I accept that thousand dollar offer? Should I counter it like 1200? Let me know. I'm curious. Hey fam. How's it going? Come here, mouse. Bring me that stick. Oh, you don't want to leave the shade. I know, you don't want to leave the shade. Okay. He's lazy. He's lazy and hot. Good boy. So one question I've been getting a lot is what do I do when people don't pay for the items that they buy from my store? So Generally, what I do is I have my store set to automatically open a case on that buyer after three days of non-payment. So basically somebody buys something for me, they don't pay within three days, eBay opens a case against them and eBay basically asks them to pay and within, I think it's within like 24 hours. Then if they don't pay within 24 hours, eBay dings their account or dings their account, whatever that means, uh, for a non-payment and then eBay refunds me my final value fees. That's the way I did it normally however if you have an item that is in high demand right now like say you have you know some dumbbell weights or whatever and you you have like a really rare one that's going to sell and somebody buys them and they don't pay immediately i would say if they haven't paid within 24 hours i would cancel the order like manually cancel the order say you know buyer change mine or whatever as long as you contact them like contact them and say hey i'm giving you 24 hours if you don't pay i'm gonna cancel the order um just so they know what's up because i'm not gonna let an item sit not paid for in my store for three days when somebody else out there could buy it, especially if it's a hot in demand item that I know will easily sell if I could cancel and relist it. So in that situation, it's not worth me waiting three days to just ding the buyer's account because I'm not really convinced that does anything anyway. So uh, again, if it's an item that is has a high demand and you think you can quickly resell it to someone else who has who would actually pay for it, I would just go ahead and manually cancel it and relist it. All right, you guys, as always, I'm going to end today's video with another trick shot. Now, full disclosure, you're going to see that I'm wearing the same clothes as I was wearing yesterday, and that's because I made this trick shot yesterday. After I uploaded my day four vlog, I just kept going because I didn't have anything else to do, and uh, it was pretty cool. Check it out. Okay, here's the shot from back there on the carpet, off the ceiling, directly into the cup. Take one out of the thousands.
Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh.